Eight sports card fans, it's John, Weed Boggs fan. Hope you're doing well. Today I have a mail day full of Hall of Famers and some of the best Hall of Famers out there. Yes, it's uh, some Topps short print image variations that I got in the mail. Some pretty good ones that I picked up, plus a pretty cool Weed Boggs card. So I'll be showing those off. Before I do though, uh, in case you have missed it, the nomination voting process is now open for the 2022 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Uh, for the last four years, Mike Baseball Collector uh, has run that. Uh, he has handed over the reins to Jake, formerly Ticket Leprechaun, now Legends Never Die, I believe. Anyway, um, I will have a link to Jake's video in the description of this video. Go check it out. Uh, he's taken the mantle of the new commissioner. Um, he's instituted some new rule changes. Um, one of them that you have to be a content uh, creator for at least one year uh, to be able to vote. So I started uh, my YouTube channel creating content uh, January, I think it was January 26th of 2020. So I'm almost at that two year mark, uh, but I'm able to uh, nominate uh, channels for the Hall of Fame. Another change though that Jake uh, implemented is that in order to be nominated, it used to be you had to be creating content for two years. Now he moved that up to three years. So if there were some of you out there that were thinking of nominating my channel, one, thank you, um, that would be awesome. But two, I'm not eligible now. Um, I haven't reached that three-year mark. So next year, assuming that the voting process takes place around this time, I think I may just edge into that uh, three-year mark. Um, voting, I think, can take place until the end of January. And this year, as opposed to last year or previous years, there's only going to be the top five make the Hall of Fame. In previous years, it was the top ten. So definitely go ch check out Jake's channel. I'm looking forward to uh, nominating some channels. I know there are some that have been uh, producing content for more than three years that I think are very deserving. There were some on my initial list when I had been anticipating this uh, that I was going to nominate, but they fell under the three-year mark. Uh, but I would look forward to voting for them next year. So with that said, uh, hopefully it should be a fun process. Maybe I can learn and find out some new channels that are out there that uh, I haven't uh, heard about. So good luck to everyone. And with that, let's go check out some Hall of Famers. I'm going to start off with the Wade Boggs pickup. Really pleased to add this card to my collection. You don't see too many of these show up on eBay anymore. It's from 2008. Tops Triple Threads. And this is a uh, six jersey piece, uh, spelling out 368 average, which is what uh, he won the batting title with in 1985. You can see the back here. Now, in 2008 Triple Threads, Wade had three different versions of a relic card. And within the three different versions, there were multiple color versions with different serial numbers. So this is one here. This is the base out of a 36. And I have another of the 36. This one spells out Hall of Fame. And it looks like the piece on the left is probably from um, his cleats. And then the center piece, of course, is a jersey. And I think the right piece is probably from a cap. So I'm missing the third version uh, in the base out of 36. But the next is the sapphire. And uh, or sepia, sorry. The sepia uh, is serial numbered out of 27. And here is the Hall of Fame. And looks like two jersey pieces. And that center blue piece, I believe, is probably the inside of a cleat. 
Then you have the CPF 368 average, again, out of 27. Again, those, that centerpiece there, uh, my guess is probably on the swoosh of his outside cleat. That'd be my guess. Probably from a Yankees game-worn pair of cleats. And then the third version, again, which I have in the sepia out of 27, is 8SS for 8 Silver Sluggers. And it has a jersey piece, what might be, it's hard to see in the case here, um, that one also may be from a cleat, and the two S's looks like uh, two pieces of the cleat. Then there is the emerald. So I'll just show these off quickly. Here's the uh, 368. These are out of 18. And I also have the 8 Silver Slugger. And then there's the gold version out of nine. I have the 368 average there. That one's number nine out of nine. Here's the eight silver sluggers. That is three out of nine. And then there's the sapphire. There's the platinum one of one. I don't have any of those, but I do have one of the sapphires out of three. And it is really like this one. Um, the eight silver sluggers, this is numbered three out of three. So again, have a few more to go to complete the non one of one run of these. Um, like I said, they are somewhat hard to come by on eBay, but uh, really pleased to get uh, one of them, even if it was uh, just that base out of 36. All right, now for the Top's Short Print Hall of Fame variations. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Picked up uh, eight recently uh, that I got in the mail. Uh, more on the way. I've won a few more. Uh, so starting off 2022, uh, doing very well in, uh, I think, I forget what my goal was on getting. I don't know if it was like 150 more uh, this year, but I'm already off to a very good start. So we're starting off with the 2008 I believe. I think it's 2008. Ty Cobb. A bit of a different image of him. This is uh, later in his career with the Athletics. But there is the back. It's a 2009. Sorry, not 2008. But check out all that red. Red means uh, led the league just all those stats where he was just head and shoulders above all the players uh, in his day batted over 400 twice and what i found interesting is you know ty cobb's known for you know all those hits and he actually led the league in rbis four times which I never thought of Ty Cobb as a big RBI guy. Now, again, he led the league with 119, 108, 107, 127. Uh, so back then, you know, probably reaching 100 RBIs was was a really big deal. Today, it's it's almost not quite commonplace. But And you can also see in, I think it was 1909, he actually led the league in home runs with nine, but he still led the league in home runs. So... Yeah, I don't know what more you can say about Ty Cobb. Just an amazing player. All right, from 2018, I have two cards. Here is the Honus Wagner. Cool image of him. The only thing I don't like about the 2018s, they don't have the full career stats. But still, this is from Series 2. And then I have the Lou Gehrig. What a cool image of that. Um, looks like that was from, I don't know if I can zoom in here, 1939. So it's the, it was celebrating the 100th year of baseball, 1839 to 1939. So that's when that 
image, I guess, was was taken and put on the card here. Really, really nice image of Lou Gehrig. And, of course, partial career stats on the back. Then from 2019, I have this cool image of Willie McCovey. That follow-through swing there. I love the fact that back in the day, you know, batters didn't worry about batting gloves. I mean, it was just pure, pure hitting. You just grab a bat, go up to the plate and swing. And, um, you know, it was start of the day where they were wearing batting helmets. But still, it, was, it wasn't all this, I don't know, they may have had some sort of pine tar back then. I don't know. But my guess is not. And it just grabbed a bat and gripped and ripped. It was just pure. The sport was pure back then. But this does have the full career stats. This is from 2020. An action shot of Reggie Jackson in an A's uniform. Sliding into home, I'm not sure who's that uh, calling him safe, but uh, still a cool, cool image. That's probably from, well, I'm trying to think. It, would, it almost looks like it'd be a World Series game, but I don't know. They played the, Reggie played the Dodgers when he was on the Yankees, so I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it isn't a uh, World Series game. I'd have to look into that. Let me know in the comments if you know maybe what that series or something was, was taken from, but there's his career stats. Then we're following up with three cards from 2021, and I think they are all from, nope, uh, two are from the update series and one is from series one. We'll start off with the Derek Cheater. Now, it's interesting with, J with Derek Jeter, you know, very long, successful career, you know, multiple World Series, but, you know, if you look at the back of his card, not too much red. Um, yeah, he led the league in at-bats one year, runs one year, hits two years, and that's pretty much it. Um, but, you know, longevity, playing for the Yankees, shortstop position, multiple World Series, over 3,000 hits, almost 3,500 hits, you know, definite Hall of Famer. Um, but when you look at individual stats and stuff, you didn't have the numbers that some of the other Hall of Famers have in terms of league-leading statistics. But still an overall great player. Then we have another Lou Gehrig. Nice image there. Now this one, as opposed to the other one, this one does have his career stats. Look at some of those RBI totals. 175, 174, 184, 165, 152, 159 RBIs. He was an RBI machine. Um, pretty decent on the home runs as well. Finished just under uh, 500 home runs. Would have made it, of course, if he uh, didn't become ill. 340 career batting average. Hmm. Anyway, the great Lou Gehrig. And finally, the last one probably could be considered one of the greatest, maybe in the top three greatest players of all time, at least in my mind, Hank Aaron. Nice image of him there. And, of course, his career stats. Two-time batting champ. All those home runs, 755. Almost 2,300 RBIs. Almost 3,800 hits. I mean, just it's just was an amazing player. Well, there you have it. A pretty cool weight bogs and some really nice additions to my Topps short print image variation of Hall of Famers. If you enjoyed this video, would appreciate you supporting my channel and hitting that like button. If you missed my previous video, you can check it out right here. 
And if you're currently not subscribed and you enjoy watching videos featuring vintage and modern baseball cards, you can subscribe to my channel right here. And better yet, click that bell to be notified next time I upload a video. That's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.